Hi everybody, welcome to the uh, Rambling Toffee uh, podcast. Uh, this is a special one. I was planning to do a, a podcast next week um, on all things Everton um, and anything that had changed um, since then. But as as you can guess, and from all the news from this morning uh, regarding the announcement from the club regarding um, new interim uh, appointments to the board, um, so I, I'll just say. For the people who actually now join the board in 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 the interim period, uh, Colin Chong will be CEO um, on an interim. Um, James Marniak, if Marniak, if I can say that right, Chief Finance Officer on an interim basis, and then two non-executive um, roles taken by Mashiri and uh, John Spelling, whoever he is. Um, and of course, the big story of the day is Sir Bill of Kenwright um, staying on as chairman on a transitional basis due to what Mashiri said in the statement to his experience and knowledge. Now, he's been at this football club for 20 years and what, what have we achieved in that period of time? 30 years, how long do you want it to be? What's he achieved? And he stays on. When, if we go back in time, I'm sorry, I'm going to ramble on as I normally do with these things. So, before I go on to Bill Kenwright um, and my view on this, I'll just say a few things regarding the interim appointments. As you can guess, two of them are internal, um, coming from from the club itself. Uh, we will find out over the period of time if they are good appointments. Uh, to help with the transition going forward. Um, Colin Chong has done really, really well, I believe, in my view, uh, with the stadium. And I think his communication in his time with this, um, with, as part of the stadium build has been good. It could have been better, but I think it's been good and it's been, you know, been very helpful. So an, an successful part of the football club at this moment in time. Um, as for the finance officer, I don't know much about him. Um, I hope, you know, he can bring whatever he can bring into the situation, uh, bring into that situation to try and help. Um, the biggest help is helping uh, Kevin Fellwell and Sean Deitch with regarding transfers and bringing players in and the whole part of that. So hopefully, you know, he'll be part of that. Uh, we'll see. Well, We'll see in the next few weeks uh, or how long this will take. Um, Non-exec, John Spelling, I don't know anything about. I think if you Google, it's quite hard to try and find him. Or no, he's, he's a chartered accountant. Um, comes with a lot of experience. He's an Everton supporter as well, I believe. So uh, we'll see how how he goes on. As for Mishiri, well, it's an interesting that he's coming on board for some reason. Um for somebody who spends most of his time in Monaco and and wherever else, um, it'll be interesting what what he will be doing in this interim period. Is it only interim that he's here for, and, and then he will revert back to his usual going into a corner somewhere um, and not really communicate with his fan base at all or give it any kind of clarity of where the path for this football club is going to go. So these these appointments. OK, the interim, I'm trying to be positive because they're interim and they're part of the transitional period. I'm hoping the period is very short and it's a short window that this period needs to uh, is going to take place. Um, it would be nice for clarity of how and what they're going to do and what their plans are. Um, well, um, as I talked about last week regarding engagement and communication, oh, well, we'll watch this space for coming attractions or another 48 hours or another 48 hours until we hear something else uh, regarding the club. Um, now, I revert back to good old Bill, um, who's been in in the role for such a long time, not just as chairman, but as owner and everything else over the last 30 years or so. He's been part of, of, a, of, a, of a scenario where this club has gone from being champions of England, being top of the table, top club, top players, and just deteriorate over that length of time 
to a point that this is where we're in. And of course, he tells us that he's, he's, he's brought the billionaire in who, you know, has just made it even worse than it currently was, or currently is, or it can get as worse as it can. So, with, with Bill being part of this, good old Bill, um, if he's part of just the transitional, and just to help as part of the transitional, and then he goes, then that's all I'm going to have to take. Um, my view is... I'd rather him be gone now. I'd rather we have a new chairman in, an interim chairman, a new person coming in to oversee the transition from outside, from somebody with expertise in that and not someone with internal. Because at the end of the day, he's part of the failure of the previous board. And the fact that Mashiri has trust and get um, and belief in him, even up till now, is mind-boggling and I'm really baffled by why Mashiri has made that decision I don't know I don't know is it something to do with his shares is, is there is there some reason why he has to stay on board anyway we'll find out in time but as again with engagement and communication will we hear anything Oh, well, we might get something from the press. The journalists might drop something. They might find something else. I don't know. Whatever. Just fed up, really. And as for the, you know, for the demonstration and protesting going forward, yes, keep doing it. I think it's the best way. The club need to know. Mashiri especially needs to know that you can't... You, he needs to know that he needs to listen to his fan base. He's obviously he's not listened to the fan base. He's made it on his own judgment. And that's why he needs to be out of the football club as well. And he needs to sell up and he needs to move on. Put right people in. Let's move this forward, uh, this club forward in a positive direction. The only thing I'm going to say and try to be positive is the hopefully these appointments that have been made at CEO and um, finance in in that position in the CEO position then and finance position hopefully they'll have new ideas or new ways I don't know we'll soon find out in coming time it be will be we'll find out through clarity and hopefully if they speak to us which which would be nice um and finally I mean what I will say also on this is that the other positive news we we can take from this the MSP have um, signed the documents and are investing 100 to, well, according to 165 million dollars investment into the club um, to help with the completion of the stadium, uh, which is a really positive. That would indicate to me. Hopefully, we will find out more regarding um, if they will be taking shares, which people will say they're taking shares and also taking roles on the board. Um, hopefully that will be sooner rather than later, but that is positive in one sense. Um, and hopefully they can come in and hopefully they can uh, bring their people in and take, and run the club the, the way they would want to do it in a positive uh, manner. And we'll see where it takes us. Um, but at the moment, it's not the greatest news We I was expecting. Um, I was hoping for people coming from outside coming in i was hoping to, a lot of speculation regarding andy andy bell and george downing obviously they're just investors as part of the msp uh, group um coming in onto the stadium um so that's in that sense but you never know if you're down the line they may they may have roles within the club um Let's just, uh, at the moment in time, it's a lot to take in. When I do my podcast for next week, I'll have more time to read through, not just a statement, but read through all the information that is out there. And hopefully we'll hear more more news or more income, incomings or outgoings and so forth. But the biggest thing as well, from my perspective, it's out there now. But the big thing is now we need to get players in. We need to get a transfer. If we have a transfer budget, 
we need to get players in, we need to strengthen the squad um, going forward. That's um, a given. I don't. We all don't want this football club to be in the position that we were last season and the season before. Um, so hopefully with this news, hopefully with MSP coming in, um, hopefully there may be an opportunity with money. I don't know. We'll soon find out. Um, but as for now, that's my view. Um, I just taken aback by the fact that our great football club, you know, is just slowly moving in a direction and not changing, you know, its way, changing for the better. I thought we needed wholesale changes. I thought we needed new people right across the board, literally the board. But at this moment in time, they've stuck safe and gone with people internally. And the only new person coming in within, outside, is Miss John, uh, John Spellman. Um, that's the only person from outside the club that's come in. Uh, we'll see. Um, what happens next um anyway that's my view um thank you for listening um uh please uh, subscribe to the channel on uh, spotify for uh, would be absolutely fantastic and please any comments uh, please let me know what you think of the podcast um and, and, and any any feedback would be absolutely fantastic so until next week with uh, one of my normal podcasts uh, take care and speak to you soon Thank you.